Yo, what's good, guys? It's JDL. I'm here with Jeff the Ref. You got your cardigan? Yeah, I'm, I'm prepared, bro. Where's your cardigan, man? It's in the laundry. Bro, this is your video, man. Come on, you gotta come prepared. I feel like I'm overdressed over here, you know what I mean? Alright, well, before you see you're overdressed, you're comboing the Nike shirt with the cardigan. Let's Wait, tone it down a little bit, Jeff. I, I'm trying to hype myself up, and you're trying to hype me down? I'm, I'm not trying to you. hype you down. I'm trying to hype you level. Okay. Just keep you, keep you balanced. Alright, what are we watching today? Today, we're watching how Miles Bridges spent his first million dollars in the NBA. God, I, look how they, I love how they just make that seem like it's a normal thing. It is a normal thing for NBA players. Yeah, well, I'm just mad I'm not an NBA player. Yeah, that's true. Hi, everybody. This is Miles Bridges, and this is how I spent and saved my first million dollars. Shout out to all the healthcare workers risking their lives out there. You're doing a great job. Definitely support all. The first job I ever had was construction work. It was under my mentor, Jeff Greer. He paid me like $50 an hour. That's pretty good. Dude, that's insane. $50 an hour? Dude, if you work a six hour work day, which isn't even a full work day, you'd make $300 a day. If you work eight hours, it'd be what, 400? Like 400. That's insane. That's like 100K a year, right? Yeah. He's making good money. Also, can we talk about how, like, with PJ, when they did it, it was, like, virtual, so they didn't have all the money? Yeah. Miles said, oh, I bet y'all need an indicator. I'll just pull out a million in cash. I'm sure GQ is good-looking prop money. Yeah. But we venture on. When I got my name called, there was just so many emotions going to him. When I was walking up those stairs, the only thing I was really thinking about was... What round pick was it? First. First round pick? I mean, he's on the Hornets, so I mean, yeah. he's not the greatest team, but I think he's pretty good. Pick. You know, I trade for him a lot when I do my rebuilds back in the day. Who's the second round pick? Who's the second round pick? You mean overall or round? Oh, overall. Oh, I was saying round. I'm talking he's about, not the first pick in the draft. I was like, what are you talking about? What what number was he in the first round pick? Probably like the like single digits or the tens, I would yeah. guess. Okay. Yeah. Now that makes sense. Okay. Happy and grateful to be there. I feel like step one to find a financial advisor was just asking around the league, asking. Dude, I feel like these videos, they're always trying to give us these saw, these like backstories. I'm gonna be honest, Miles Bridges, I don't really care about your backstory. I'm here for the how you spend the money? How you spend the money? That's what the video is titled. This The video is not titled How Miles Bridges Came Up in Life. I think the old series before quarantine, the quarantine versions, they kind of just do them. Yeah, it's more personal. More personal, yeah. I, I don't like how personal these are. Yeah. I would have to say it was 80 in savings, 20 in spending, just to keep it safe. They taught us literally everything that we need to know about the NBA or lifestyle outside the NBA how to handle our money. They had people come in that actually went bankrupt, that played in the NBA and can have them come talk to us. They had professional people like that knows how to handle their money come talk to us, so it, it, it was great. That's what I'm saying last week, bro. The, the players today have so many more tools than the old players did. Also cool that they brought players that went bankrupt to talk to them, like to give them like perspective of what could happen. I remember how much it was. It was $3 million a year or four. See the four or three. And you mean three or four million and you don't remember which number it would be? No, It'd be one good. thing if he was like, oh, I made like 66 or 67. Yeah. All right, be sure, maybe. Yeah. Three or four? There's yeah. no way you don't know. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> Why are you being humble? We can look up your salary, Miles. You think he's being humble or he's, he's being like three Modest. or four because he's probably spent so much? I refuse to believe you could make four million dollars and be and confused not, if it was three or four. four. You can see all that info right here. Okay, he made 3.2 first season, 3.7 the second. Yeah, probably maybe four, it usually goes up. All right, so, nice. My Respect. first big purchase was a Rolex. I, I wasn't really into jewelry or anything. Dude, hot take. But everybody said, Watches are the worst jewelry. Bro, what you are you talking about? Dude, like, we have phones. Like, why do you need a time? Why do you need a chain? But a chain is like an accessory. I mean, you could make the same argument for it's a watch. An accessory. I, I personally think I would rank watch the least important what's the, accessory. What, what's the top accessory then? Probably sunglasses, but it's also like, are you more likely to look at your watch or your phone? 100% your phone, but it's a jewelry. You, would, you don't really need it. But look, it's just my opinion that watches are bottom tier jewelry. You would never get a watch. Probably not. Maybe like a smart watch, but I would never get like a... A Rolex. Rolex, yeah. Let's see. Let's like, see if a is. smartwatch is a smartwatch, a Rolex is a dumb watch. What? They're having some disagreements in the financial world over here, but we'll, we'll continue on. <laughs> Let's consult with our third, our third <laughs> what do you think, our Cookie? Third I love watches. Watches are not expensive. I don't like watches. Bro, Cookie could get a chain. No one should do that dog. I want to get Cookie a chain. I want to <laughs> get Cookie a Cookie chain. Yeah. Brown and black diamond chain. That'd be fire. Better than a watch. All right. Come on. <laughs> Once you get to the NBA, you have to get some type of watch. 
just so you could look professional. That's that's what I did. So I got a gold presidential Rolex. Rolex. Presidential Rolex. Thirty thousand. Oh Range Rover. Okay. Next thing I bought I was a Range Rover. At that time, I had my son on the way, so I knew I needed room in the back seat for him. I, I was gonna get a Porsche or something else, but instead I just got a Range Rover to keep it safe. And I like my Range Rover. I got it wrapped, so it's matte black now. That was worth 100K. 100K. What are you, you thought about the Range Rover? All I know is the two people with ranges I own want to replace them with Teslas. So, you know, that, that lets it speak for itself. I don't know if that necessarily is saying anything bad about Range Rover or if it's saying something good about Tesla. But, you know, Chris's range, very comfy on the inside. Yeah. Chris also replaced it with a Tesla. That's 100% that's true. All right, we're doing some small stacks here. Mercedes. Okay. Okay. After I bought my Range Rover, I bought yeah. my girlfriend a car too. 2019 Audi, that was worth 50k. Nice. 50k. Wait, 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 my girlfriend. Girlfriend's Mercedes. But listen to After I bought my Range Rover, I bought my girlfriend a car too. A 2019 Audi. Is it an Audi or is it a Mercedes, Miles? Which one is it? GQ messed up. I think GQ messed up. Go comment. Leave a comment. Uh, I'm going to. Leave a comment. Hey, you guys, go find this video. Go can like we, this comment or comment down below. Can we talk, right. let's talk about? He doesn't know what he's talking about. Someone's messing up. This is unacceptable. Bro, this is GQ. This is G motherfucking Q. What is going Does no one review this video? Me and you are reviewing it right now. Yeah. You know what I think? Let's email them. I think it's <laughs> trash. I should. We should email GQ. <laughs> they need to fix this. Pissing me off. <laughs> Fun fact, there's never been an editing mistake in any Jedi <laughs> video. Zero. Zero. No Zero. Never happened. No, no, never will. When I first got into the league, I wasn't really into fashion. I just wore straight jogging pants to the games or if I went to parties. I just wanted to feel comfortable. My teammates, they started getting on me, telling me that, well, why don't you dress more? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? There was a couple teammates in particular. It was Kimball Walker at the time, my rookie year, Dwayne Bacon, Malik Monk, and Jeremy Lamb. They were all getting on my case about it. So I just figured that I had to get my fashion right. So I started. Bro, if Dwayne Bacon, Malik Monk, and Jeremy Lamb are telling you what to do, you gotta rethink some things. Kemba also has a lot of money. Look, let, let's let's the... let's talk about Kemba Walker. Lightning rod on offense. He's one of those like uh, revolving doors on defense, though. You just gotta look, push a little bit, and then you get through. My yeah, man Kemba got f***ing roasted last night by Tyler Hero. You're a big Heat fan. There's a lot of bias. Man. There's no bias. We won but the game. You guys did win the game, but so what is what I'm saying wrong? It's not wrong, but you hate on the Boston I'm not Celtics. hating. I so said. He is a you got a revolving door. I didn't say that about Tatum. Every time we watch the Celtics, do I not go like, damn, Tatum is amazing? Do I ever say anything no, about Tatum? No, yes, you I don't. Yes, I do. You're no, right. You say Tatum's amazing, but you can't make a shot right now. That's what you say. Well, in the game we were watching, you couldn't make a shot. Make a That's shot. not me being mean. I'm you're... pointing out what's happening. Kemba Walker's a good player, man. I agree. I like Kemba Walker. But you call him a revolving He door. is a revolving door in defense. You couldn't just call him bad at defense? Why do you have to call him a revolving <laughs> door? Do you understand, like, the degrading value of a revolving door when it comes I do. He's in that tier. He's in the traffic cone tier. Well, no. Now you even call him a no, traffic no, no, cone? No, 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 He's not in the traffic cone tier. That's, <laughs> that's reserved for Trey Young. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> this is financial advising. This is not hating on NBA players' defense. I'm hating. That play against your I hate. <laughs> All right? Moving on. All right, watch it. Yeah, my rookie year, I probably spent only like 10K on... Not even 10K on, on fashion, but my last year I probably spent 20, 30. Fashion, I got 30K for my first two years. Honestly, I feel like for an NBA player who's getting pressured into trying to look nice, that's pretty good. It's pretty yeah, responsible. I think he fought back like, inside or something. Yeah, he was like, bro, Dwayne Bacon, like when you get minutes, talk to me, man. Yeah. I went on a couple more trips. I went on a trip to the Bahamas with my girlfriend after All-Star Weekend this year. The trip to the Bahamas was free because the NBPA paid for it. And actually, I made more money in the casino than I spent. Vacation to Miami. My man. My man had a killer trip to the Bahamas. That Killed sounds it. perfect. Free and you went at the casino? What's yeah, the living the life, man. As financial advisors, we agree with your decision to gamble in the Bahamas. I stayed in an apartment and it was probably the worst decision of my life. So my sister, she gave me a good idea. She just said, you should buy your house. It'll be yours. If you ever want to sell it, you can sell it. I bought me a house and it was $600,000. Wow. 100, 
I feel like I spent it on reasonable stuff, stuff that I actually needed. I mean, the jewelry and stuff is just stuff that I wanted in the fashion. But all this other stuff is stuff that I needed. So I'm happy about how I spent my first million. My advice to younger players coming in would just be, you see how fast I could spend that in the first two years. So just make sure you make, you make a budget, get you a financial advisor, and pay attention to what you spend and educate yourself on money. So you won't make the mistake of going bankrupt or doing anything stupid with your money. Nice. All right, so he was definitely, I would say, the most financially responsible of everyone we've seen so far. I would definitely say Hero was still the most entertaining. Anytime you spend 80000 on clothes, it's entertaining. Look, look at the face. He, look at his, he, you yeah. know, he knows he, he spent kind of recklessly. I don't like these financially. I want them to interview someone who was like, I spent a million dollars on clothes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one step. Like, I want them to interview that guy. I got paid $50 an hour and worked only four hours a day. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a way to get around SCAA rules. Dude, the YouTube comments are smart. People yeah. people underrate the YouTube comment community. They got their girlfriends mixed up. <laughs> hey, well, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Obviously, when we talk about the players, we're just joking around for the most part. It's all, it's all for the kicks and giggles, man. What was that? Hmm? What was that? What was that? What? I saw it off the camera. You did What'd something. You, I didn't do anything. You said, I hate Jeff. I didn't. I, replay it. I did not say that. It's all, it's all for the kicks and giggles. I have to watch this video. You know what? You this is watch coming it back. Out. I didn't say I hate. Why would I say that? All right, you really want to? Yeah. I wasn't joking about the turtle style thing. Kemba. I love you, Kemba. No, he doesn't. If you ever, can if I, I about, ever go to the can event. I talk about watching UConn back in 20, was it 11? Like, honestly, inspirational. I love Kemba Walker. Dude. Man's not good at defense. Dude. I don't think it's because of his heart and skill. It's just he's undersized. That's all it is. Dude. There's a lot of players that I love, but I, I'm like, they have a flaw in their game. You That's his that. flaw. And I would understand that, but you call them like revolving doors. Jeff, you, John, I say, Bam, son. <laughs> I don't even know if they know about that. Yeah, but basically, like, bro, the way the thing is, like, I'll be like, like, player X is a, is an open door on defense. And you'll be like, you're disrespecting this man's whole family. The way I look at it is I'm just using colorful language to say he's not good at defense. There's nothing deeper than that. You take it like Mariana Trench deep. I'm just at the beach. I'm in the sand. Peace. <laughs>